Just a sec. Oh, there we are. Now we're back. All right. Welcome to December 19th, I think, or 18th. I think it's the 19th, 2017, one of the last few days of the 2017 year, which is pretty cool. Uh, before we get started into the, we're going to do a debate today. So you guys want to stick around for this one, but can you show off the shirt real quick? Okay. Model it up. Show it off. Show it off. So these are the sweatshirts. These are the hoodies that we have at Great Gym. You can uh, you can go on the store and buy them. They're going to go up by ten dollars here in uh, here in the new year. So if you want, um, please do go ahead and go over there and grab one of those. Anyway, yeah. we'll get into it. <laughs> that was that was beautiful. Thanks. Yeah. Did you guys like that? Was that awesome? I like it. Model or wait, what is it? Hashtag model light. Um, <laughs> So today the the topic is a, a little interesting. Um, I find it super interesting. Uh, never before has uh, this be, been like a mainstream topic. This is so new, and I'm not going to say that Rach and I, either one of us, well, she can speak for herself, but I don't know a lot about this. What I do know something about, I do know a little bit about mindset, and I do know what it's like to want to be something that you're not, to want to be somebody that you aren't. And I do know a little bit about what it's like to be uh, opposite of the or uh, jealous of the opposite gender. So uh, when we're, what we're getting into today, we're going <laughs> to and uh, I'll tell you it later. Okay. You got to find out. Yeah. Um, so we haven't done we haven't like rehearsed this or anything. We don't rehearse any of these, but we're going to do we're going to talk about the transgender topic, which is a loaded topic for for a straight white dark male. Uh, <laughs> To, to talk about. So I realize there is zero forgiveness for me uh, uh, on this subject. So I hope that everybody can see that uh, I'm always I'm going to come from a good intention, uh, a place of good intention. But for the most part, we're going to debate. So in a debate, there has to be a duality, right? Or there has to be opposite. So we each picked a side. We both picked a side. So not everything that we say is going to be representative of how we actually think of and um, believe and uh, look at uh, transgender people. We're trying to be extreme. Well, yeah, we're trying to go to the two ends of the extreme. So I'm taking the standpoint. So you can bring it holy back shit, can't even believe I'm saying this, but I'm taking the standpoint of like a, an objective reality, cold hard facts, the the jerk in the scenario. I think most people would call him. And Rachel is taking the standpoint of like the more like the acceptance and the compassionate. Uh, how do you want to describe it? Uh, acceptance is pretty good. Acceptance is um, good. Like then, yeah, acceptance is a good word to describe it. Yeah, and anyway, we're gonna go back and forth with a, with a debate here, and the, the main, I think the main goal is to create some mutual understanding. Um, I think that this is something that, like if you look around the internet uh, right now, there's enough people speaking up against the uh, transgender thing, and there's enough people speaking, like obviously we've seen this huge insurgence of like, be proud to be transgendered sort of deal. I don't even know if that's the right way to say it. Um, but, I mean, uh, what's her name? His name, her name? Who? The Kardashian guy. Yeah, I forgot his name. Oh, uh, Caitlyn? Yeah, Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. Bruce Jenner, Caitlyn Jenner. Um, has got, like, got the Courage Award or something like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so, like, obviously, this is yeah. kind of rewarding it. Anyway, so we're going to try to do this. We're taking a huge debate. Two different sides to create some mutual understanding so that, uh, I don't know, just to open right, up some new right. perspectives about it. Good luck. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'm not in a, like, I, no, it's Denise. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I, so just realize it, while you're watching this, uh, about the time somebody unloads on me because I said something that was not very nice because I was taking this super strong this way, uh, it might not be representative of how, like, it's or not, not all of these. It's not to, um, offend or, like, point fingers it's just yeah. about creating an understanding well, and like exploring the topic yeah and we take a very good like uh if rate if i if if rage finds something takes something personal that i say or she gets offended by something that i say we have a very clear mutual understanding that that's on her and if she says something that i get mad about or she does something that i get mad about that that's on me my anger my thoughts feelings actions behaviors are on me and her thoughts, feelings, actions, and behaviors are her responsibility. So we have a mutual understanding there. Okay. Um, which one are you looking at? No, it's just that Amanda Scott is watching. Amanda no, Scott is here. Insta. Insta? Why are we still talking about? Uh, what, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's why we're bringing it up. Mm -hmm. People are fantastic and very good. She's not one of them. 
Wait. Oh, I don't... Yeah, I mean, we're going to get into that here in a little bit, but... All right, so how should we start this thing off? Do you want to... Do you, do you want to pose your position? The, okay, so now we're going to go into character. I'm going to take the super hardcore objective reality stand, stance, and Rachel's going to take the acceptance stance, and we're going to go back and forth. Do you... Would you like to... Uh, how about do you start, since yours is like... I'm since... Gonna be a... I can can I make the joke ladies first? Is that like a is this like bad timing? No, you go first <laughs> and I can build off of that. Okay. You have a clear Well, I, yeah, cuz I've been preparing I, like I I've, I've definitely tried to prepare this down to like very very clear statements. So uh so anyway, so like from an re objective reality standpoint. So this is my my first position. Uh, or the, and the position that uh, I think a lot of people come from with the objective reality stuff is that there is an X Y and an X X, and then there's obviously the other ones, the so like time about filters, like scientific, the hardcore scientific facts. hardcore fact X Y X X. If an X X person decides to wait, X X is female, right? So X X person decides to transgender over into and look more male, give themselves testosterone shots, blah 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 blah. They're still an X X. And an XY person that decides to go through surgery, get everything removed, change everything up, get their breasts and hands, uh, and they are still an XY. So cold hard facts, do they like from the objective reality standpoint, they do not change. So that's my my first stance, and then like the second one, uh, well, I, I don't uh, want to go into two. One, one We're gonna time. go one at a time. So I already violating the rules of debate. So, but is it about changing their chromosomes, or is it more about them? being accepted as that so that they can be normal being accepted outside. as what well like knowing that you have x x chromosomes versus xy chromosomes doesn't really change like your your core like it it does like when you're coming out of the womb but like once you cha transition it's about being accepted as that and be being identified as that gender okay um, so you, it's not like hiding anymore or like trying to prove yourself. Yeah. It's, not trying to be trying to become right. more normal looking in your eyes. Yep. I mean, you're like, I'm assuming it's pretty hard to 100% not fool anyone. So, and when you're like transitioning, it's probably like a process, but like the more and more feminine you want to be when you're transitioning towards women or to a woman the the better like it's it's about the outside appearance and feeling like you're in the right body so i mean the xy the chromosome thing is different this is where i think like getting into the like one uh, wanting to be somebody that you're not how far where do we this is like the second one is like wow. where do we get to the point where mental state versus reality so like you identify as your mental state is that you're uh, that you're 60 years old, but you're not 60 years old. You're 30 years old. I'm not 60 years old. I'm 30. What am I? I'm 32 years old. I was born in 85. Yeah. I'm 32 years old. I'm not 60 okay. years old. So I identify. So is it uh, like, so where is the point where you start to accept who you are for how you are? Like, even though I'm uh, like, I, I wouldn't mind being an inch taller and have my shoulders be like, like a foot wider. That'd be awesome. I'd love that. Mm -hmm. It's not going to happen. I'm, I'm 32 years old. I'm not. I'm, my shoulders aren't getting any wider. No matter how much I lift, they're not going to be 12 inches wider. Okay, so what if you wanted to have tits? <laughs> That's available I can't to you. You, you can. <laughs> but I'm just saying, it's like if that was something that completed you, and like made you feel better and about that's, yourself. That's what I mean. So like mental state. So what I'm saying is mental state versus reality. Uh, mm -hmm. Reality is those those are fake boobs. Those are not real boobs. Mm -hmm. um, Aaron's watching. <laughs> so reality is those aren't those aren't real boobs. Like you're not really a girl. But if it if so, if and everybody else. So and then they this is know. this is the other thing. Like when I uh, and I've said this to you before, uh, where this got convoluted in a conversation that we were having one time, where I said, "Who cares?" I mean, I was I we like I'm so curious about this thing because it's such a it's it's just blown up into this huge thing, but. Um, but this is, uh, but for real, like who cares? Like if you're looking at it from an objective reality, and this is the, this is my two big points. I think I have a couple more, but my two big points are what I just said, the X Y, and then the who cares. So like, 
if someone wants to surgically put a rhinoceros husk or horn or whatever those things are called on the front of their forehead and walk around, who cares? If you want to cover yourself in royal blue tattoos, who cares? You're not hurting anybody else. Mm -hmm. So from the objective reality standpoint, like why does anybody give a shit? Like why do people want to speak out against know. transgender what people? Is that? And from the other side, it's like, but you're not really, you're not a girl. You're not a guy. You're, you, you, you are what you are. You are an XX or you are an XY. Um, what is that thing that you always say about Cher? Oh, sh my favorite quote of all time? <laughs> yeah. Um, I usually don't tell people this. Uh, I usually just tell <laughs> certain people this. So this is interesting. This is coming up on the show. Um, my kind of fits. Uh, this is Yeah, my favorite quote of all time is, uh, so Cher was getting razzed about, and I always do it wrong. When I look it up, I know that it's a little different, but... Uh, I like Cher. I think Cher is awesome. I love her personality. I think uh, I had a huge crush on her back in the day, but that's because she's gorgeous. Um, but Cher was getting razzed about getting plastic surgery, and she go, and she told the, the person that was uh, interviewing her, he, she said, I'll put tits on my back if I want. <laughs> and, I've, and I've always been like, that is awesome. I love that. Yeah, I mean, it's your body. You can do what you want with it. Um, yeah, those are my two big Whether things. Whether you understand it. I, I think there's a duality just in the side of the objective reality that mm -hmm. certain people aren't wanting to look at. Like, the people who are against transgender people who are like, this is ridiculous, this is terrible. Like, why do you care? Like, what's it matter to you? Why would it bug you? Why is it a thing? Um, and I mean, obviously from the yeah, other side of the standpoint, them. It's, it's an X, Y, and SX. You are not a girl. You are a transgender person. And I'm fine with that. That's cool. I think that they're probably. That, I'm people, going. At, I'm going in and out of character all yeah, the time. Here. It's really. This is a tough subject. So yeah. just back off. Um, so what about the people? Okay, so for the people that do care about it and they do like, they give people crap about it. I Wait, think they're so just like the anti-transgender people. Yeah, the ones that want to like bring up all this bullshit about. I don't know. It's basically that they don't understand. They, they can't put themselves in that shoe, their shoes. And so is that but, one of your points? Is that uh, the that they should put themselves in the transgender person's shoes? Not saying, they're not going to be able to ever do that. So they should stop trying to and trying to make up the decision for them, make an opinion for other people that they don't understand. They can't like people that are hardcore. This is bullshit. Like it's all in their head and. Uh, but it is all that. I mean, yeah. Everything like that goes back. To, that's another one. But point, at the same time, objective you reality. Can't. Everything is in your head. Every single experience you will ever have happens within your head. Every experience that you yes, have. but you're not looking at it from. You can never look at it from their point of view. You will you can never try. be able to actually do that. Right. You do not know what is going through their head, 100%. and whether it's a mental or like disorder or a delusion uh, or. Mis connection in their brain that doesn't mean anything to you or me because no. we are not in that brain we're not in those person's shoes so if you woke up tomorrow morning and if you had like if you were a woman say you had tits and a vagina <laughs> what how would you feel oh i'd miss my best friend see okay so what else what would you what would you do about it would you like try and hide it ever would you try and like would you walk around as Adam Reese, but everything was the same except you had tits and a vagina? I'm, what would you, how would you feel? I, I'd feel really unattractive because... I'm assuming, well, okay, but don't say like that. I would assume you would feel, not like speaking for you, I'm, I'm assuming you would feel very self-conscious, very outside of your body, like you felt weird and you wouldn't, you'd have like social issues, like... Being in social situations, it would cause you to maybe recluse and. So it's interesting it. you say this because, like, like I, like I haven't felt like this, like I had boobs and a vagina, but I felt like like I was in the wrong body. Like, I, like I, I never that's felt comfortable anywhere I go. Like, that's a, like I was so, uh, like uh, I was so um, not what I wanted to be. I was so I was so torn up about not being a bit. Um, not be able to do what I needed to do. Like, uh, never felt like you're tall enough. Never feel like you're strong enough. Never feel like your muscles are big enough. Never feel like you're good looking. I like, just think you're like that. I thought I was like Quasimodo. Like, this is getting kind of like maybe TMI, but I thought I was like the ugliest dude on earth. Like, uh, like I wondered, I would look at myself in the mirror and be like, I think I'm a good looking guy, right? I, I hope I'm a good looking guy. 
And then uh, I remember there's a someday I'll have the guts to actually tell these sto the story, but um, but there was this girl. Uh, anyway, I had this realization. She said something, and I sat back in my chair and I was like, "Oh man, I really am. I, I really am ugly. Like this is what people think. They what think that say? I'm really ugly." Uh, she said, "How did you X Y Z before me?" Uh, <laughs> Um, I'm actually good looking and I was like I didn't say listen bitch like that's you're you're yeah. you're a jerk um, I, I sat back in my chair and I remember going oh man I really am ugly and after that I kind of like just sort of like eventually gave up on the idea that hopefully I'm a good looking guy and I just thought oh I'm just like I'm like Quasimodo just walking around uh, so I better work on my personality um, and like later on in life uh, like I don't think that I'm like the soup I don't think I'm Quasimodo I don't think I'm like super great looking guy or anything you just think of just like normal but at the same time I just let go uh, that drove me crazy uh yeah to I if I, like like to to look in the mirror and see something different than what everybody else saw or the I don't even know how to explain this I think most transgender people probably don't know how to explain what you're trying to say either. well okay so it's like a so your mind and like maybe your spirit are one gender. Like everybody gets a mind, body, and spirit, but their mind and their spirit are one gender, and their body is just a different gender. See, I don't know if I can go along with like that sort of deal. Like, uh, like I am even a very spiritual person, um, and I'm trying. Like, to, I'm trying what, to stay like, on the objective up. reality. Like, you, like, uh -huh. the, like the on the objective reality of the whole thing, and stay just with the cold hard facts, and trying to stay in character. And it's really pretty though. Um, I don't know. I think, but I didn't. I didn't. End up, I remember. I, I looked in the mirror one time, and I remember seeing me for me, mm -hmm. and being like, "Okay, so this is what I look like." It was a really weird experience. It was after uh, one of my meditation courses that I went to, and I was like, "That's what I look like." I've never seen myself like this before, and a day before, I wouldn't have been able to see that. I don't think that we see ourselves for who we are very easily. Well, you kind of just have to, I've kind of done that before where you like kind of look at somebody that you know really, really well. Mm -hmm. You kind of be, have like an idea that you, you can like look at, you can close your eyes and see them. But when you stare at them for a really long time, you see them as, this sounds kind of spooky, but you see them as everybody else sees them. Not as like, oh, I know yeah. this person. I know their mannerisms. I know their posture. I know their, You go back like, and forth on it. I'm just saying like. I can see what you're saying by like looking in the mirror and you're, you're very unbiased, very, you can just see what everybody else sees instead of what you always see in the mirror. Yeah. Like it takes out the flaws. It takes out the whatever, like the, you know, you the best, obviously. I don't know. I don't know if that's accurate though. Like, like I can't tell you how many uh, clients I've worked with that were these super gorgeous women who thought they were ugly. They were like That's human nature, they were like eighteen percent just... body fat, and they had this, they uh, had worked out really hard. They got in super great shape. They looked awesome. I mean, gorgeous, super pretty. And they were like, I still, I, I look in the mirror, I still think I'm ugly. I'd be like, oh my gosh, like, and I think like That's with wrong. the with the transgender thing, I almost think like, what if uh, like when do we get to the point? So like sticking with the objective reality thing, when do we get to the point where enough is enough? Like when do you accept who you are just the way you are? Why? When do you accept yourself for the X X person that you are and that X Y person you are? Well, have you ever seen someone transition though? I've been around one person that was transitioning, so... uh, and that was uh, that was very interesting because. Uh, it was a girl changed into a guy, and she wanted to be called they, and that got really difficult. Okay, so it's not the most glamorous thing to no. watch, like, and I think they know it because they're not like fully; they're like in between. So, but you can like I've seen it as well. Like you can see the excitement, you can see like the hope in their eyes, like. They're about to get to the place where they yeah. have been wanting to be for so long. And it's kind of like a, it's not about the cosmetic, like, I want to be beautiful. I want to be a girl. I want to be pretty. It's about finally being able to have people identify you as the gender you want to be. And I'm guessing it's not not about those things too, but. No, and you can but, still like, end up being a really unattractive person, but they are at peace with themselves because they can 
finally look in the mirror and see a man and or vice versa. And for you guys that are just coming in the show, I just saw that a lot of people just showed up. Um, uh, we're debating transgender, and I'm like, not everything that we say is going to be exactly the way we think about the subject. Or I am taking the standpoint yeah. of the the that uh, you don't get to change. And Rach is taking the standpoint of acceptance, and uh, so <laughs> this, is, this is pretty based tough. off of curiosity because we have yes. kind of like different views in in a lot of ways in real life, like outside of this debate, but. We kind of bounce things off of each other and kind of try to learn. And we're really, we're really just two very super curious people, so that's why we want to have this. But I still say, like, what if it's just uh, like what you just said? Like, they just want that. They want to have the experience of being the opposite. What if we go back and we find, we get to the source and we realize, well, the source was that they didn't think they were enough the way that they were. They couldn't accept. Uh, that they were a male, so they had to change into a female. Like maybe they got, maybe it wasn't a, a like, um, like maybe it was some traumatic event where they had this realization that well, if I was just a like if I could, if I could be the girl, I could always get the guy, or if I could be the, the uh, well, the I guy, thought... I could always, uh, I would never get, um, whatever, okay, okay. assaulted or whatever it is, like something um, awful. So I think there's billions of people in this world and everybody has a different experience you can't just pigeonhole all the little but it's like i mean it's like into, i think it's like five okay. to fifteen percent of the population though even if it is i don't think everybody's experience is going to be that and there can be that situation where they thought that they were feeling these feelings yeah. i'm not saying that i know I'm but saying that shouldn't I take away from I, everybody I, I, else's I, experience who actually does feel this way like they are, they've known it since, I, I don't know, I, I was just looking at something, so that like 70% of the people who are transgender knew that they were transgender by the time they left elementary school. So in that way, you have to kind of believe I'm that not, it was like... I'm not saying that it happened when they were 13, 14, 15. Developed. It could have happened when they were six months old. I have no idea. Yeah, I know. Um, that's actually one of the weirdest things that I've heard so far is there was a parent that tried to do it to their, uh, to their three month old or something like that or a three year old or something. It was the weirdest thing. That I was like, weird. I was like that, that's the word. You're not giving them a choice at that point. You're just yeah shoving and I, yeah, an ad idea. identity onto them. And I do know, um, I do know a person, but that, I mean, that's what they, that's what they do anyway. If you have a girl, everybody gives you girl shit. If you're a boy. Like when you're a baby. Yeah. So you're basically shoving a gender onto that person anyway. You know what I mean? Like I you're know, not giving it, them the choice to decide. I, I, see, like I don't think that that's wrong. Like, uh, like in. It's not wrong, but it's a, it's an interesting thing that everyone. Like knows. if you analyze it, you mean like the polarity of female male. Well, in the example you just gave me, like. A woman deciding, oh, my baby is transgender at three months old. Like, how the hell do you know that? Yeah. Just because she rolls to one side of the I bed was, or... I, was, I, I have no idea how you I would I was thinking that. that you meant, like, the boys will be boys thing. And I get, like, the so sick of that. You sort of literally, scenario. like, look like, up, look in a book and, like, they do not know. You can't tell the difference between a boy and a girl. Even sometimes when they're in, like, sixth grade. Like, they just... They're going to make choices, but by three months old, you do not know that. Who knows? Yeah, I think that's ridiculous. I think it's almost like, like on some level, like that's just child abuse. Um, not on some level, it is. You're asking to perform surgery on a, on a three-month-old or a three-year-old. Wait, that's what she was doing? I think that's what it was. Okay, well, that's just. I can't remember now. Child should be ago. taken away from that. <laughs> it is a while okay. ago now. Um, so. Thanks, Aaron. What is Aaron? He said, great combo. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is just something that could land me in such hot water so fast, so it's hard to it's hard to. So, what about like maybe it could be a preference thing? So just make it easy. Just make so it. So like, let's say. But uh, but you just said that it wasn't a choice. That, I'm saying it. Can or be. seventy. You said that for seventy percent of people that they don't think that they may seventy percent of the transgender people, if that's accurate, whatever. Um, the, if seventy percent of the transgender people knew by the time. That that's just what they were. I wonder how many of those thought it was a conscious choice versus how many of them were like. Okay, well, let's say so. I've never liked pizza. All for right. example. Okay. And I've never really liked chocolate either. 
people not would, human. Exactly. People would say I'm crazy. Like, it doesn't make sense scientifically. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just giving like, you a hard time. I cheese and bread and, like, <laughs> chocolate are, like, one of the things that everyone likes. I Someone told me the other day they didn't like cheese, and I still don't believe them. Someone I heard, I remember uh, when I was a little kid, I heard uh, this lady say that she didn't like strawberries. And I remember turning at her and being like, you're a liar. <laughs> I, I was, I I was a that. little kid, but I didn't tell her she was a liar, but I was like, you're lying. See, There's no so, one on earth that doesn't like strawberries. So to us, we can't relate to that feeling. I'm not saying that I can relate uh, relate to a transgender person. I can relate to feeling like you're in a body that isn't that isn't the right body. I can relate to... Um, think the thought that oh those but females have it better than I have it. I can relate, relate to what? But you don't relate to wanting to change your entire gender. That's something no, completely I'm, different. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying I can relate to the other things that I just said. Oh, okay. But like ultimately, so the, there are a, a few things here. There, there are some cold hard facts here. Like when you when you change, you don't change your chromosomes. And when you and to all the people that are like anti transgender people, it's like, why do you give a shit? It's kind of like uh, um, in the small town that I grew up in, uh, there was a couple kids that wanted to grow their hair really long, and the whole town threw a fit. It was that's just like crazy to me. I think that's just small town stuff. I know, I, but it's like, I, why I would you, to like, why would you care? They're not hurting anybody. What's it matter? You know, just because it's a little different than you. And uh, and like, I think the transgender thing from an objective reality is like. Why would anybody care? Like, why would you care? Why would you? Why, what, like, why, why? Why would it be a big it's deal? It's because they don't know. They can't relate. It's okay if you can't relate. What's the matter with that? That's what I'm saying. And then, they don't want to. And then you know. go. They you go through it a little bit that. further. And you, like, when are you enough to just be who you are? Like, when is like I'm a male and this is how I'm shaped and obviously I can make little improvements on like my physical stature. I can lose fat. I can gain muscle. Whatever it is. But that kind of that goes. Could, goes like, when do you okay. accept who you are? That kind um, of goes against your idea, like your whole, um, I don't know, what do you always say? It's about you becoming, like, loving yourself. Not saying that you have to have surgery to love yourself, but, like, to, like, be whole and yes. and it does. figure out your place in the world. Like, some of the, I don't that think goes that against it, what I was just saying? I think that goes for what I was just saying. Wait, what did, what did you say? Say it again. Like, accept yourself for who you are. Okay. But at the same except, time... You can accept yourself for who you are, but you can't... Like, I don't think that they can fully do that until they've figured out their gender identity. Well, that's what I mean. Okay, so mental state, like, making it more clear. Like, you have your mental state, and the mental state, uh, you believe you are, like, whatever. And in your... In the physical reality, you are an XX or you are an XY. In your mental state, yeah, go do, go do for whatever. But like ultimately, you're not going to change the bottom line. That doesn't matter. And if it doesn't but matter, then it like, doesn't matter. They have come to terms. I'm sure every transgender person is like not gone and like to seek different chromosomes. Like they they they've come to the idea that that's never going to happen. Obviously. But the things that they can change, that they like changing their the F to the M or the M to the F on their driver's license, or being able to go into the bathroom. This is a, this into. is another kind of one of those who cares things. Like, like I'll go, like I'll go into a women's bathroom tomorrow and and, and do my business just fine. Uh, and I won't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't think about it twice. But you other want than to. The whole, it's not like you. That, I wouldn't that, care. Like it's it like a matter. burning desire to. Like I think. I don't, that, well, <laughs> it's not that it's a burning desire. I'm a burning right? desire to go use the... <laughs> But it's it's about being accepted as that. Like walking down the street and being able to be like, oh, that's a girl. Uh, like, See, that, that's nobody thing, like, has to. If someone mis mistook, is that the right word? Mistook me for a female like and called me she and her. And misses, I don't I, like that's another who cares? Like, why would you care? Uh, maybe I'm just like, maybe that's just like small potatoes for me, and it's a big deal for other people. Okay, also, I think that there's like steps to becoming like, oh, who cares? Who cares? Like, being okay with what people think about you, but they kind of need to love who they are first. I couldn't agree more. The, like, 
the ability to love who they are, whether they're male or female or whatever, is kind of kind of have to do it in in an order where. I think this gets messed up. It's like, uh, like let's say we have a kid. We've had this conversation before. We have a kid, and the kid comes home, and they've they've got a D on their report card in PE. You know, like, uh, like how do you have a D on your report card in PE? Do you tell that kid, um, I love you no matter what, even if you get a D? You know, like, of course you love them. It has nothing to do with whether you love them or not, but it's like, you got to do better than a D. Like, I love you enough to push you harder than getting a D. We got to get that number up. You know, like, pushing okay. them to new heights. Like, being like, oh, I just care that you're happy. Uh, you failed a test, but I, I just care that you're happy. It's like... No, kid, well, you gotta study harder. No, they're not doing their best. It's easy to say that. I don't like like, like if they, if they're they not told, trying. If the kid gets a D on a test and and uh, and then they didn't do their best. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like it's easy for you to like I, try to push them in that direction when you know that they could have done better. There's no way they did their best and got a D in PE. It's like a. Yeah, like the the love your kid no matter what, of course. But like, if you love them, why why wouldn't you push them into things? But the same thing here, like you can love yourself uh, and accept yourself for who you are. But if you do that, then why don't you just accept yourself for who you are? Uh, and if you're gonna accept your your own mental state, like oh okay, well I am a fe female mentally, but I'm a male physically, and you want to go change that, you know whatever, go for it. Okay, so you probably agree with like them being like a transgender person being in the military and all that i don't get why it would matter well his his idea was that it was who's he? it was trump trump oh did trump say something about this he I banned know, yeah. them from he he put out a tweet saying they're banning them from the military well that's a tweet that's not a real well i mean it's a real tweet Him. probably Him. yeah yeah but it's right. not like oh he's not like king where he's like a dictator okay but i'm just saying like, do you agree with that from now on i'm not saying he made it like a rule or that do it's I going agree? to happen no objective reality would be like why would that be a why would that matter you want well, to be his idea was military. that they were taking away funds because they have medical issues if there is reason like if you have like this is a like objective clarity too. Like uh, I think like you put like you don't put this is the male requirement and this is the female requirement. You put the requirement. It just is. It has no like it has no bearing on if you're female if you're male. It doesn't matter. You got to be able to do if you if you want to put together a list of things like if you if it's like push ups and pull ups and running a mile and doing all this stuff and you meet the the requirement. You're in. I don't care if you're transgendered, Asian, black, Puerto Rican, male, female. Uh, like if, if you're the most intelligent dog in the world and you can speak, you know, you can speak the language and you you pass all those things. Yeah, I don't care. Like you're an alien well, you do and you meet the requirements. The people around you, like I mean, if you're in the military, you want people around you that are the best of the best. And whether that's a girl or a guy, there's a bunch of. I'm sure there's guys that can't own up and figure out how to do pull-ups there's but, plenty of guys who I mean, can't do pull-ups yeah. and there's plenty of girls who can't do pull-ups like, like that's what i mean like why why is this like like the military thing why is it a male female thing if you can meet the requirement you meet the requirement but everybody meets the requirement if they went in you don't have a separate thing so you don't agree with that what <laughs> the... like i mean excluding them based off of Not their their gender identity not at all. I mean, like some people, I mean, why, what would be the, the objective reality is like, if they can do it, they can make them do it. Okay. I guess we agree on that. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're supposed to be. We're debating. supposed to be disagreeing because this is supposed to be a debate, but I don't know if we're, we're like, uh, like I'm trying to stick with the objective reality as best as possible. And the objective reality, cold hard facts is an XX is an XX and XY is an XY. Um, and uh, if they want to go and change their bodies, they can do whatever they want with them. But at the same time, they're always going to be an XX and they're always going to be an XY. So you're saying it's a, like a mental flaw? Uh, no, you will not like, and this is me saying this, this isn't like the debate guy. Um, I will very much shy away from using the words right and wrong. 
I don't think anything is wrong with you. I don't think anything is wrong with me. I don't think anything is wrong with uh, a drug dealer or a pedophile or a child monster or a rapist or a transgender person. I don't think, like, and those are all just like terrible things to lump together, right? I think that there are certain people like the pedophile and the child monster, they have a sickness. They are sick. That is different than having something wrong with them. Like uh, a mental... They have a mental sickness. Yes. Sickness. So yeah. when they describe it as mental sickness... So with transgender people, I don't think that anything is wrong with them. No. It's just their... Kind of like with the preference and like pizza thing. Like That's what I meant by preference, by the way. I didn't oh, mean for to, uh, I didn't mean to say it. Just like some people prefer dating the same sex. Cool, I mean. Some people prefer to have. It is kind to of re to relate with to the other gender. Cool, I mean. I grew up with like like um, sometimes it's the the running joke that at Grit Gym when it's just me and one other guy that I'll make the joke that uh, story of my life. There's just me and a bunch of females. Because uh, the majority of Grit Gym is female, uh, but there's Sunday school for age. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of guys. But there's I mean, when I was in Sunday school, me and a bunch of girls. For age, me and a bunch of girls. Uh, the, the 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 daycare place that we went to, me and a bunch of girls. Why was that? I don't know. Just how it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like me and a bunch of girls always. You screamed that. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah, I don't know, but but no, uh, like the. I don't know, all of this stuff. I, th I find it, like, and this is me just, like, like I find all of it very fascinating, like, very curious, because it's never been, like, a mainstream thing. It's never so been out there for the world to talk about. So what is your opinion on... Not being Mr. Debate Guy? No, I mean, like, Caitlyn Jenner thing, getting the Brave Award. I think that was ridiculous. There were so many other people that were more qualified to get that. They're, they're, well, I, forget, I, I forget what they were, because it's been so long okay, now. say not the um, award. Like, when people say she's brave. Oh, when people say she's brave, like, brave is such an interesting word because it gets into courage. It's about facing fear. Uh, you've got people out there that are doing things like going off into, into battle and uh, leaving Why their families. Why are you trying to compare and... other people's experience, experiences to hers? What do you mean? Like, the, okay, so do you not think that it's courageous that she I, did what she yes, did? Yes, yes. Do I think that she deserved a reward for it? I don't know. Um, I think it was just. I think it's a little silly. A hot topic, and it was, I, they yeah. were trying to acknowledge it. I, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was. It was a headliner. It was a thing that they could get. It. Like if they put that in, then every every magazine would blow it up, and there would be a bunch of controversy around it. And they played this. And they played the mob. Basically, I think that's what they were doing there. Um, I don't think it had anything to do with Kate, uh, with Caitlyn or Bruce. Um, I think it was about how many magazines they could sell. And nothing wrong with that. Well, you want to sell magazines? You want to sell magazines? It also brought awareness. I mean, it was a hot topic because I think that's what kind of brought about the topic that it's so popular right right now. Not popular, but like it's so talked about because she, the people have been watching that family for 10 years and then all yeah. of a sudden it was shocking to people that this person that was supposed to be the manliest man at one point, <laughs> that's what I keep hearing people say, like the guy's guy, the... The one, he won the Wasn't decathlon. Two-time gold medalist, I think. Whatever it was. He's a stud. He was like uh, he was able to to do this, and then all of a sudden, everybody's idea of him was flipped around because he wanted to be a woman. If you like, if he wants to be a woman, go be a woman. Um, like, does it take a certain amount of, of bravery to do that? Yeah, because he's he's probably going to get some ridicule. But at the same time, like, is it? Award worthy? I don't know. I, I don't think I'm the one to decide that anyway, obviously. Oh, okay. Well, what I was trying to say was like it brought about the awareness for other people to do the same thing. Like, if this person who was supposed to be the manliest man was able to do it, then maybe the seventh grader who is thinking about it or like has had seventh a, grader? You, I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of transgender kids that don't say anything and they take the route of suicide that's sad i know what i'm just saying is like it kind of brought it to like the mainstream so that people didn't think that it was as crazy or like as rare as people thought it was 
I think people just kind of keep it quiet and I'm, I'm interested don't to deal see, with it. I'm interested to see what it'll be like in 20 years. Like, in 20 years, do we get to a point where we look back at it? Because I, I remember the the... I don't know what to call it, the gay explosion, uh, when all of a sudden everybody was just, uh, like, it, like uh, until, like, probably, like, 15, 16 years old, uh, being homosexual was, like, this, like, uh, it was, like, oh, don't tell anybody, you don't tell anybody, like, this awful thing, like, you were, like, a pervert, like, uh, it was, it was yeah. a bad deal, and then all of a sudden everybody came out about being gay, but there's a lot, are you excited, because you got me I didn't know there was, um, uh, but then all of a sudden, now, we're 20 years after that, or we're coming up on 20 years after that, and now it's, like, how many of those people that came out as being gay are now not gay, and married and having kids, um, so I kind of, like, I'm, I'm curious to see how this all pans out, to see, uh, like, uh, do more and more people, <laughs> uh, do people kind of end up regretting their decision to become a transgender, do they go through a, is it, like, a phase, is it, like, uh, is it like getting a tattoo where um, it's just like a cosmetic thing or is it is it deeper than that is it you know is it just I don't know and I'm not trying to say that it's not or it is or it isn't I really don't know this whole this whole talk I have like very little knowledge of this subject uh, um, and this is me going like mm -hmm. out of the debate guy like I'm very curious to see how this all turns out um, and if we look back at this as like no they're delusional or if we look back at this and we're like uh, let's accept this as a, a chemical as a, imbalance, or it's a chemical imbalance, or it's a you know uh, like whatever it is, or if it's just, uh, just like, looking for attention. But like like, uh, like at this point, I think in like the homosexual thing, I don't think a lot of people are walking around like uh, God didn't make Adam and Eve or Adam and Steve, He made Adam and Eve. Like I don't think people are doing that anymore. Uh, but people used to say that. Still I'm it's it's generally accepted that if you want to be gay, it's cool to be gay. It's not shocking. And, and I think that would be that, that would be a good thing if if you want to be transgender, go be transgender. Um, but at the same time, like, is this an opportunity to look at like uh, building uh, a super amount of objective clarity around the scenario? Is this a mindset thing? Is it a mentality thing? Is it a or is it a uh, like? Uh, what I mean by that is is it your mind wrapping it? Like your mind has come up with this. Um, this solution, and that's what you're going with. Um, to like you, to the, you that don't fear feel of not being enough. So this is what it is. Yeah, like I think the the fear of not being enough, I think, is so deep rooted with people. I think it's so hard for people to deal with, and they don't know how. We're in this new emotional level of the uh, hierarchy of needs that um, that we don't know what to do with it. Like that, um, the the people are sitting there, and like they we've basically we had the ultimate the, the highest level of survival that we've ever met we've got food we've got shelter uh we've got enough money you know all this stuff and now we're in this new emotional level we have no clue what to do with it and i think it's uh i think it's driving people crazy and people are shooting each other and uh they're sexually assaulting and they're power hungry and you know going crazy over all these different things that are i mean maybe crazy is the wrong word they're transgendering they're this they're that they're the other uh, how much of that is just the fear of not being enough and this is their solution for it and how much of it is like ah, it's just, they want to be transgender this is, or they want to do that or they want to do this or they want to do whatever I, I don't know I literally I, that's me saying I don't know that's not me passing judgment on anybody well there's also I so I follow a lot of people on Mine. I mean Mine's I follow a lot of well, I, I, I don't want to okay. I follow a lot of people on my social media that are either guys who like to put on makeup or they're guys that are transitioning into girls or blah 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 because I mean I follow a lot of makeup stuff um it's just one of um it's just but, fun so there is a variation a girl, right? I can name because you like, get you get a little hate for that it's fun it's fun yeah it's fun it's creative it's yeah. whatever and yep. thank you for not judging me <laughs> um, but I have like three different examples. There's a guy who's gay and he loves to do makeup, but you would never change his yeah. his gender. Mm -hmm. There is a, a guy that's transitioning into a girl, loves makeup, would never ever go back to being a boy. Like this is the girliest girl I've ever seen. <laughs> then there's like the girliest guy who he literally dresses up in drag. Like, he has these fake boobs that he puts on. It's like this rubber thing that it's basically boobs. Like, you can't even it. tell. But, but um, he likes to dress up as a woman, loves to do makeup. He's great at it. But he would never want to be an actual woman. 
he likes being a guy. So those are like three different examples of people who have found their their like position on it. Like there isn't just 100% of pe people who it, it's not like you can pigeonhole them into a category. Yeah. They're a different category. All I'm not trying to categorize anybody. I yeah, I know. I know, but like that's what people are trying to do that don't understand. They try to like say no, this is wrong. This is blah blah blah. You weren't you weren't made to do this. You weren't made to be a woman when you're clearly a boy. There's certain things that are really silly. Like um, you can't put... They, they have the inability I to not empathize with what this person is trying to do. This is what makes them happy in life. This, but is, this is where the argument happens. Like, you're coming from the accept, accept, accept. It's who they are. And they're coming from the uh, no, you're not. <laughs> Deal with it. So, like, t to me, like, uh, it's a really good opportunity for certain people to become victims and certain people to be the, the victimizer, right? Which is not, not the case. Like, uh, if I call you a boy and you take offense to it, that's your problem. So, like, the Why whole thing... Why are you thing... calling me a boy? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but I, I just think that there's certain things around this from both sides of this argument that are super silly. I don't know how else to say that. They're just silly. Like, uh, I'm going to throw a fit and, and sue you for calling me, uh, calling me a girl when I'm a boy. It's like get real. Wait, is that a thing that. in um in New York right now? There's like 120 different pronouns or something that you're supposed to use, and if you use the wrong one, you can get sued now. Yeah, it's it's absurd. Like, why would you be able to get sued over? Uh, it'd be like if I called you John. It's just the wrong name. It's okay. I think there's a certain amount. I do think that there are certain silly things here. Um, it, from the other side, I think it's ridiculous to judge these people that want to live their life that way. I mean, like, who? Why would you give a shit? But at the same time, why would they give a shit that they got called the wrong pronoun? I don't know. If, if your Small pronoun is something potatoes. that nobody knows about, then especially there's no way you can get offended by that. Like, it, that's just like. Especially when you okay. look like a guy, like everything screams guy of you, except that you're wearing a wig and someone says, and, and, and someone says, uh, how are you doing guys? And you throw a fit over that. I mean, I can't even imagine, say like a transgender person Throw called out. someone else the wrong pronoun. Would you take offense to that then? Yeah. Cause like, obviously oh. they should know. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like a, you can't expect people to put themselves in your shoes. So that's why you can't be offended by it. Like, nobody has been in your shoes. Nobody knows what you've been through. Nobody has you have walked... To take, you have to take responsibility for this issue, for your thoughts, feelings, actions, and behaviors. Yeah, but at the same time, like, if you know that someone is trying to transition, like, you can kind of make an effort to, like, help them along and by it. Like, yeah, But course. they must give you the... the they must give yeah, you that it's... conversation. Like, be polite enough to be like, by the way, I really like it if you call me she. Or I would really like That's it cool. if you call me it. Like, have that conversation first. Don't expect them to f to try to figure if... it out and then feel bad about it. Like, don't try to make them feel bad about it when they give you the wrong pronoun. Like... I think there's a lot of... Really this, it's a communication thing. You gotta... Um, like, uh... The idea that the wrong pronoun can be a derogatory thing is a little absurd to me. But there's a lot of really silly stuff around this. But um, I, I don't know if we provided any solution, but I know that we're over time. So, did you get my points out of across? Mind? <laughs> Are we in and or out of me being like the the hardcore? I'm just saying. Did you? Learn yeah, I actually learned. I learned. You... I learned some stuff. That was good. That was really good. I thought or you did you great. understand some stuff? I did too. Um. Like, a lot of us, we've talked about so much of this stuff before, but, um, yeah. but I think there's two, there's a duality here between the two scenarios, and I think both sides are being super silly. I, actually, I, I'm going to go past that. Both sides are being completely ridiculous. Like, uh, um, from one side, I don't have to, like, no one has, like, I shouldn't say I, no one has to accept uh, the, you for anything. They, they can do whatever they want. And from the other side... Uh, your thoughts, feelings, action, behaviors are, are yours. And from the other side, why would you care that they want to be this? And from the other side, why would you care what you get called? Uh, and, you know, I mean, like there's like this whole, it's like it's like begging for a fight sort of deal. And I, I just think that's yeah, a, that's it a bummer. Yeah, it shouldn't be a fight. It should just be like an un, let's understand to understand. Yeah. 
let's not just make assumptions because mm -hmm. you know what that does yeah no it doesn't it doesn't go real, real well but uh thanks for sticking with us guys um like everything um not everything that was mentioned in there was how either of us super feel. I think that all of us kind of have like some different ideas around this. Neither of us are transgender, so we have no clue. Um, but uh, it's a super interesting topic, and I think more transgender people are going to be able to communicate it better to the non-transgender people. And I think the non-transgender people are going to hopefully be able to accept and, and move on. And hopefully there's some kind of like, uh, I don't know, understanding here that... Uh, that uh, both sides can kind of toughen up and both sides can kind of gain an understanding. But anyway, I don't know if that was a good show or not, but um, I'm, my brain is toast. I've been trying to, not, I've been trying to, you know, like, uh, anyway, no forgiveness for straight white males uh, in, on this topic. Anything, you want to wrap this up? Um... I think that's pretty good, actually. Uh, we'd love to hear your perspective. If you guys uh, write it down below in the uh, comment section, it'd be uh, really interesting. Um, otherwise, we're going to be out before my head explodes. Anyway, thanks for being here, guys. Really appreciate it. We'll see you tomorrow.